Hello, everyone, and welcome back to uh, Monetize Your Network with Juniper Networks. Uh, here today, we're back at it again with Michael Dine. Hey. And today, we're going to discuss what we left off last time with Premier Analytics. So, Michael, like as always, why don't we start off with what is Premier Analytics and what exactly does it do? So, uh, the Premium Analytics is a feature within our MIST portal that allows you to take a deeper look at what's happening inside, whether it's your office or retail space or your warehouse. It, it's designed to give you information so that you can do things like office optimization, uh, you know, how you're making sales, those types of things. So it's a, it's a deeper look at what's happening inside your, your locations so that you can make a business decision. What would be the ingest of items and or data that we'd be taking in and pushing into our uh, analytics that we'd be looking at for these clients? So for premium analytics to work, one of the things you're going to need to take advantage of is our, our, our Bluetooth uh, array that we have in all our access points and being able to identify where devices are. So it's all really about kind of location services and the user engagement pieces of our solution uh, to do that. That means, uh, you know, whether you have like an SDK on an app on a phone or somebody has a, a Bluetooth tag, uh, maybe on their badge or on some sort of device. Uh, what I mean by that is it could be a robot. It could be, if you're looking at like a warehouse where certain items are in, in a warehouse, you can also tag them as well. Uh, so those are all the things, basically everything that kind of connects to the wireless environment needs to have some sort of Bluetooth uh, connectivity that allows you, allows us actually to ingest that information and then present it to you in meaningful ways. On top of all that, we're not just talking about the wireless side though. With premium analytics, you're bringing in the wireless, you're bringing in the wired, you're bringing in the WAN. So end-to-end -end network visibility, we're taking in that data and we're able to compile an entire analytics sheet for you to be able to understand and digest for, you know, IT operations, for network insight, you know. This type of feature, this type of asset we are talking about would be very useful to those CEOs, the people who maybe don't understand the in-depth technology that we're talking about. Maybe they need it on paper. Maybe they need to understand you know, the streamlined infrastructure behind it all. Um, there's, if we're talking about CEOs, CIOs, anyone at C-suite level, you know, they're talking about infrastructure planning, resource management, IT operations. We'll take all of that and put that into insights from our SLEs, from our trends, to understand the utilization, performance, the faults that may be occurring, and how we can better off use our assets. Totally agree with you that. When you talk premium analytics, this isn't typically something you would talk to IT people about. You know, they're more about network, network infrastructure, how do I manage it? If you're looking at a, a way to uh, move up to the, the C-level or the executives, this is one way to do it because it's, it's not about wireless or wired. This is about gathering information about their business and the way that their business behaves in a certain way certain way. So Michael, is there anything like use case wise you could see this being very useful? As far as the use case goes, uh, I could think about a, a couple different things or like maybe a couple different groups that you could um, maybe approach or every business has something like a an estates, you know, facilities managers. And those are the people that are interested. Why? Because, you know, fr from an office building perspective, let's talk about that. It's uh, how many people do I have on a floor? Where are they working? Where do they go? And where do they don't go? Uh, if it's a safety issue, yeah, you know, imagining that you have an app on your phone that if something happens, you can press a button on your phone and they know where you are. And then you can use those type of statistics to say that, hey, you know, we, maybe we need more lighting over here. Or we need more presence of whatever uh, in, in a different location. That, that's 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 one example of, of using something like premium analytics. Uh, you know, if, if you want me to go on, I can also talk about retail as well. That's also a, a good use case. You know, where where the foot traffic is inside the store, where do they go? 
How long do they linger in front of a sale that you have? This is a way for marketing to measure are their compa- campaigns being successful as opposed to, well, we put all this stuff out there, you know, in, in the newspapers and online and, and, you know, all the different platforms out there. How do you measure that it's actually working? Are you getting the foot traffic in the store and where are they going in the store? And are they actually buying the thing that you, you're trying to promote? And, and that's not a network thing. That's a business thing. And you hit the nail on the head, basically, right? Premium analytics is not just tailored towards your network people. Um, well, yes, it definitely does your connections, your security insights, um, your visibility for quality of assurance. Uh, we're, you know, investigating and making sure reporting for devices, you know, are going up. But it's also for a business of how are you doing? How is your visitors? How are your proximity tracing? Um, are they dwelling in a certain area for a very long time? Are they... Is there a popular motion that people go down? If you're talking stores, if you're talking retail, if you're even talking about just in general, your IT infrastructure as a whole, where are people going? How do you understand the customers? How do you even understand your own company? How do you understand your employees and how they go? So there's a lot of different ways to ingest this data. Well, actually, another example, I was just thinking because in one of our previous sessions, you talked about when you went to, uh, to school and the onboarding and all that kind of stuff. Premium analytics can take that a step farther and to, to the point of um, not only helping people wayfind uh, across a campus, but, you know, where are the students? Where do they congregate? Uh, you know, for schools, for international students, you typically pay a premium to go to those schools. And using premium analytics and having stuff in the dorms and throughout your campus being able to say, hey, R- Rollo, Rollo hasn't come out of his room in three days, you know, and why? What's going on? Maybe we can get him some some sort of help, uh, you know, get him engaged with, with the student uh, population because it, doing that type of thing, and, and there are schools out there that have done that, actually find that they have higher school retention, uh, sorry, student retention. And when you're talking international students who pay a premium, that's you know, instead of dropping out in the first semester, they stay all the way through. They graduate and able to get a job. So it's a win for the student. It's a win for the school as well. So so that's just, just another example of what premium analytics can do for you. And now on the head on that one. <laughs> um, I guess the other thing, though, we could also talk about in this type of sector is just the overall importance um, of taking data in, right? As a company, we're not holding on to this data for, you know, 60, 90 days. This is more or less 30 days of information that we have gathered that you can pull into a report. And like you kind of said, we're making sure that we're able to use it for the students. We're going to use it for location services and also incorporating everyone into one basically PDF style of being able to send out a report. And when data is the most important thing nowadays, it's important to know that this is something that you can learn from and grow with. It's not just something to sit there and just give as a report. You can actually take it and learn from it and be able to incorporate it into your environments and grow as you go. Right. Yeah. So you're creating better business outcomes and you're also creating better end user outcomes, Uh, you know, whether it's students or whether it's uh, employees, you know, things like OSHA compliance, you know, uh, you know, there's an emergency situation. Uh, my building's on fire or something like this. How do I get out of my building? What's the safest route to get out? Um, and then being able to measure all that stuff and, and directing people. So yeah, it's um, premium analytics is uh, uh, by far probably what, one of the, the coolest things that, that I've seen in MIST today. Thank you everyone for joining us today for our last session on uh, how to demand more from your network and monetize your network. It was a pleasure for me and Michael to be able to talk to you guys and just be able to expand your knowledge. Uh, If you guys have any questions regarding Juniper Mist AI or just having any more POCs or demo capabilities, feel free to reach out to Ingram Rep. We have many sources to help uh, get you where you need to be with your Mist journey. Um, and if you have any questions or uh, topics that you guys would like to discuss, feel free to drop them below. Besides that, Michael, you have anything else to say? All right. Thanks, Rob. Hey, everybody. 
Thanks for joining us. That's it for now. Uh, We appreciate the time that you've taken to listen to us today. And we'll see you again soon.